If you happen to watch the uh, Hawaiian Uppercut Belgian Pale Ale review that was just a few days ago by Stack, then you know what's about to happen. I am fucking terrified. What be going down, people of the world? Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch. Welcome back to another Daily Drink Vlog for the beer of the today. We have got a bottle of Four Corners Quad by the Stack Brewing Corporation. Yep, that's what it says. It was made, made a little while ago, and it's soured, so I'm, you could, I could leave this for longer. But I made the stupid mistake of putting it in the lineup. Ten and a half percent alcohol. Never realized it was Stack Brewing Corporation either. It's kind of interesting. Oh, this is not going to be a beer for me at all. Let's crack her open. Uh, it wasn't quite the no-look grab there. I know, I kind of cheated. Oh, that looks very dark. Especially, oh my god, I don't think I've ever had any kind of dark Belgian beer before. This first half isn't looking overly cloudy, but I'm pretty sure that the second half... I can already see stuff swirling around in there a little bit. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world going to those of you watching my videos. The beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. Yes, he does. Oh, there's a lot of yeasty flavors going on in there. Smells, sorry. Probably flavors as well. There's kind of a bit of a sweetness that smells kind of good, but then there's then there's the yeast, and that does not smell so good. Oh, for the love of God. Let's give it a shot. That is remarkably not bad. No real big yeast flavors coming through whatsoever. It's got like a really kind of nice deep red color to it too that's not really coming through. Let me uh let me fix that up for you here. One second. I can go like that and like that and like that and then like that. Yes. Look at that. It's so pretty. Oh, and it's so, it's so okay. Mind blown. Yeah, I put the label back on there so you can kind of see it and stuff. And it's not just a blank bottle. Although, this is telling you who I, whose beer I'm drinking. I'm drinking my own cat's hair as well, probably. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. This is possibly the best Belgian style beer I've ever had in my life. Ten and a half percent alcohol in this shit. You would never know. It just, it's like. There's like just multi kind of goodness going on. Absolutely no flavor from the yeast. I don't understand. Today being November 28th, on this date in 1895, the first American automobile race took place over the 54 miles from Chicago's Jackson Park to Evanston, Illinois. Frank Duryea won in approximately 10 hours. 10 hours to go 54 miles. That's kind of crazy. The, the first cars were not fast at all. That's mind-blowing. 
like 54 in a race not even half an hour like at racing speeds that cars would go these days that's that's crazy There's sweetness going on in there. Like, this doesn't have ingredients, does it? That's kind of sad. Because I'd like to know... I'm sure some kind of sugar went into this. It's bloody remarkable. On this date in 1908, a mine explosion in Mariana, Pennsylvania killed 154 men. Only one person survived. That's got to be a fuck. What the hell is that? How incredibly random is this? Almost the end of November. And there's a ladybug crawling on my wall. I don't know. We'll put you like here, maybe. If I can set you down. Come on. There you go. There you go. It's okay. It's okay. Get off of me. Get off of me! It doesn't want to get off of me now. Um. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. There. Maybe she'll crop the bottle. That'd be pretty cool. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Nice. Little background entertain. Oh, she's trying. She flipped over. She couldn't do it. Oh, that's sad. What if I put it on the label? Sorry, I'm having fun. Come here. There we go. It's, it's a label bug. She's staring at me. Flying my eye or something. On this date in 1942, in Boston, Massachusetts, Massachusetts, it's a weird, weird and hard to pronounce, a fire in the Coconut Grove nightclub killed 492 people. Deadliest nightclub disaster in U.S. history. Insane. It was like... A bunch of separate kind of lounges so it was like a bunch of bars in one nightclub and somebody in the lower lounge had removed a light bulb so that he could have some like privacy and make out with his girlfriend and they got one of the employees to put the light bulb back in and I guess he couldn't see where the bulb was so he lit a match to see and that match probably it was it's not confirmed like the source of the fire was entered into the records of the department as being of unknown origin. But he started the fire by accident, and within minutes, the whole place was full of smoke, and yeah, that's nuts. That ladybug is literally kind of freaking me out. He's like cleaning her mandibles. Something in my eye. stack this is a great beer that's that's just annoying though sorry fuck I think I'm okay maybe hopefully possibly ten and a half percent If you say so. <laughs> it's got a really nice, like, creamy looking head on it, too. That's doing a pretty good job of sticking around. Just like the little ladybug friend we got here. I don't know. Oh, I don't know how long she's going to hang around. I don't know how long ladybugs live, but... Leave suggestions for a name in the comments if you want to. I don't know. You'd be the little kind of mascot thing for me or something. I don't know. She's red. My beard's red. Rambling is happening. A little scared of the end part of this beer. So I'm actually going to finish this and then just drink that much of the end part of that beer. 
but like take a look at that you can see you know it's got some clarity to it it's dark but it's clear that is probably not going to be anything like this so let's go drink number the last part one oh The alcohol content isn't really there in the taste, but it's getting there in my body. I can definitely feel some kind of beginning effects of this. Okay, unnamed creature. Hopefully I don't disturb you too much here. I need to switch this around. Um, hmm? You're doing okay. You like a little bit of head banging, maybe. Here we go with the end part of the... Oh my goodness, that's a little bit more cloudy. Certainly is. Oh, it looks like mud now or something. And look at that. Look at that. What a good little ladybug. What a good little ladybug you are. <laughs> I'm just sitting there. It's weird. I figured she'd, like, she was trying to get up the bottle, so I figured if I put her there, she'd keep trying to get up. Maybe she wants to taste the beer? I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I want to taste this beer. That seriously does not look tasty now. Let me try to shine the light in there again. Come on, unlock, you bitch. There you go. Ha! Yeah. Like, remember how before you could really see the light through it? Now you... Now you can't. Why did you lock again? God damn you. Tap it. Turn it off. You fucking... It's okay. It's all good. It might not be all good, but... On this date in 1943, during World War II, the Tehran Conference occurred. U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and Soviet Premier Joseph Stalin all met in Tehran in Iran, which is odd, kind of. They wouldn't meet there these days, I don't think. But back then, maybe it was, I don't know, they weren't so terroristy, I guess. And yeah, to discuss war strategy. Basically, we, the end result was uh, Stalin, like, joining with, didn't he join up with, like, Hitler? After that, I think, I can't remember, but anyway, it's a thing that happened. Oh, I'm scared. It's still remarkably okay. Is that brewing? Your Belgian uppercut pale ale thing or your Hawaiian uppercut Belgian pale ale thing yeah that sucked my ass this this is surprisingly okay for my ass <laughs> drink number the last oh fuck me A little bit of yeast in that last gulp. But still overall. Stack Brewing Corporation, which still weird. Every every other brewery I think I've ever seen is a brewing company. Brewing Corporation. Anyway. Your Belgian Four Corners Quad. It's right there. Rating. It's like a solid eight. And that just blows my mind. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you've got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. Peace out! I don't think I have any more Belgian-style beers in my fridge right now. Yay!